Good evening and welcome to another edition of Kim's Corner. I'm Kim Brown, your host in the day. I'm soaking in some sun. But um, we're here at Councilman Darren Sharif's Central Ward Fitness Initiative. And they have a lot of activities going on, yoga and all different kinds of activities so that we can whip our bodies back into shape because I know I need to whip myself back into shape too. So it's a lot of things going on during the summer. There's some things at Lincoln Park and different places around town. So everybody should come out to some of these events and get soak in some summer sun. Sit back, relax, and enjoy Kim's Corner. This is Brett Dawson, and Brett Dawson, you're the aide to uh, Councilman Sharif, correct? Right, I'm Councilman Sharif, Chief of Staff. Okay, so tell us something about the Councilman's uh, initiative that he's doing, this summer initiative. So this summer initiative is called Central Fitness, and Central Fitness is an opportunity to provide fitness and nutritional information to all North residents. Uh, we partnered with a variety of uh, people throughout the city, uh, North Beth Israel and the Greater North Conservancy. They provide the nutritional information and screenings uh, today. And then we have uh, fitness uh, experts out here. Uh, we started out at 8 o'clock with Lotus Yoga, that's Jennifer Cole. And then we have um, a fitness expert actually from North Beth Israel uh, who's going to help with uh, sports um, workouts to teach people how to exercise and stretch properly. And then we have uh, Kabarobics. What is Kabarobics? So Kabarobics is a combination of karate, boxing, and aerobics. Wow, uh, I need to come out here and do that. Yeah, it's taught by this fabulous uh, sensei named Jerome Pearson, or Jamal Pearson, I'm sorry. And he is a karate expert. Mm -hmm. And he has partnered with us on a number of occasions. We have uh, a class at uh, Science Park High School. We do our learning community there. And he taught Cabo Robots there also. So it's an intense workout, but he can modify it mm -hmm. for those who aren't at that level of activity. And uh, after that, we're going to have, um, we have it, uh, Zumba. Okay. The um, York Housing Authority is providing a Zumba instructor for us. And then finally we'll do another aerobic activity from Fitness Motivator, who is uh, Omar Towns. And then we'll wrap it up. So it's a great sunny day out here. Mm -hmm. And we have uh, refreshments, uh, water and Gatorade to replenish all the nutrients if you become uh, overexhausted. <laughs> and we have the uh, uh, St. Barnabas, uh, Newark, uh, Beth Israel out here to help out if we have any problems. So, so is this just for today or well, are, what, are, are events going to take the uh, course over the whole summer? So right, so this is the kickoff of Central Fitness and we're mm -hmm. hoping that we get a lot of people come out. It's still kind of early, you mm -hmm. know, people are still a little tired from... Um, Partying on Friday <laughs> night probably. But we've, we've devised a calendar of events. For us. So for all of the partners, we've asked them to provide us with a calendar of activities uh, that they will be um, uh, involved in so that we can provide it to the people out here so that they can, the, the residents can go and become involved in any kind of activity, whether it's fitness or nutritional activity um, throughout the year. And then, yes, we'll have other So they're going to be at different venues. At different venues. So at JFK, there's mm -hmm. something going on. Rotunda, there's something going on. The Greater North Conservancy has a series of events happening. North Beth Israel has a calendar of events. The uh, Clubhouse and North Housing Authority, they have a calendar of events. And uh, Fitness Motivators and all of our partners, they continually have uh, events going that people can participate in and continue on this healthy and nutritional endeavor. Okay, so if people need more information, is there a number that they can call? So you can call Councilman Sharif's office at 973-733-5870. His office is located at 920 Broad Street. We're in room 304. Okay. And you can ask for Brett Dawson. Okay, great. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right, now get out there and work out. Let All me see right. you do some push-ups or something. <laughs> Now, I don't need to tell my viewers who this is. <laughs> this is Councilman Darren Sharif. He's the Councilman of the Central Ward. So we're here at your summer initiative at Central Fitness, kicking it off today here at Nat Turner Park. So tell us a little bit about the initiative. Well, it, I mean, it's, a, it's a, a fun initiative, um, Kim, but more important, 
it's a um, life and death initiative. I mean, nobody has to rattle off the statistics about um, um, childhood obesity now. Mm -hmm. When we were growing up in this town, uh, we were crisscrossing each other, riding on bicycles, and we didn't have the Xbox and uh, PS2, yeah, all that kind of active. stuff. We were more active, mm -hmm. and that was reflected in our fitness. And fast forward all those years, and we have kids who are in the uh, fourth grade, um, 200 pounds. Like, wow. how can you be 200 pounds in the exactly. fourth grade? So I said, with limited funds, right, but with an effort to bring people together, how can we uh, write uh, in that turn of park to great music and to uh, great people um, have fun together and, uh, and get healthy together? So I'm super excited about it. It's a beautiful day, not too hot. We've got tons of um, liquids to keep people um, hydrated. And we've got Zumba, we've got uh, aerobics, we've got all these great things. We've got yoga to kind of like calm people down. And I'm super, super excited about the day. But uh, August the 1st, I'm gonna go on a health and fitness exercise. And I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna have a diary on Facebook. Oh, really? Because people think that just because but I've got a lot of exercises to do. You don't, you don't do. look like you, you know, you have a weight problem. Well, I, well, it's not a weight problem, right? But my heart rate is not as low mm -hmm. as I would like it to be, and I eat totally the wrong thing. And um, I, I have a, I have, totally the wrong and thing. I have an addiction to sweets. And so at oh. night, I've got that addiction, uh -huh. and I'm gonna hope that everybody who follows and takes part in the, the month of August, when I get a temptation at two o'clock in the morning, I can go on Facebook and somebody's there. Say, go to sleep, councilman. You don't need to have that um, munchkin. Okay. So, um, so it's, it's great. Yeah, this is a great fun initiative. Is this the first year you did the Central Fitness? This is, is this the, the um, this is the first year. So, and um, you know, next year we hope for it to be bigger and better. We've got um, North Beth. I see Tracy Mumford down there. Mm -hmm. She's got some her crew out, and we've got some other important partners to work with us uh, in this initiative. But I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, happy to be able to share this with um, Central Ward and North Beth. It's such a pleasure to come out here and try to. I tried to do some. I tried to do some yoga this morning a little bit. I had some stances out there. I almost fell on my head. But, <laughs> but it's good. This is a good program because everybody needs to incorporate some fitness in life. And we get busy and people work a lot and they just don't. Oh, I don't have time to work out. I don't have time. You know, you get kind of bogged down. But actually, it's kind of good to kind of freeze your mind. And, you know, it gets those juices flowing. If we can do it in the morning before you go to work, do a little 15 to 20 minute workout, exactly. sometimes it helps. Exactly. I've got my jump rope, that's why I got my gloves on. And so, uh, between exercises, we're going to walk around the track and try to um, jump rope to get my heart beating a little faster. And you have a stressful job, so. I, I have a stressful job. You have a stressful um, job. You know, so. every day, you know, um, there is an expectation that people have of me that I try to manage. But, um, you know, from trying to get single moms um, who are looking for housing, affordable housing, and we were talking about before we went on the air, uh, the need for um, employment, that's a big huge issue. Crime is at the top of the list. And um, in real time, I've got to deal with those things. But I stepped back um, from having all that stuff to recognize that uh, we've got the greatest residents in the, um, in the entire you know, state in the country, and we're defined by grit and diversity, a diversity of thoughts, and diversity of race and ethnicity. And if we can only come together doing small things consistently, um, we'll change things, we'll change things. This is the, you know, the greatest job that I've ever had. It's the toughest job that I've ever had. And so I, I enjoy it, I enjoy it. So the stress comes along with the job. It's always a pleasure talking thank you. to you. And I know I'll be talking to you again soon. Thank you. Kim. I'm sure I will. No, thank you very much. Okay, you're welcome. So, this is Emanuela Mojica, correct? So tell us what you do. I see you at the youth farm stand you have here. Tell us about the youth farm stand. So the youth farm stand is a program uh, through Greater Newark Conservancy and Newark Youth Leadership Project, uh, which I coordinate. And um, we have young high school students from Newark that run the farm stand. They harvest and grow and maintain the produce and then sell it at farm stands uh, around Newark. So where do they grow? Where's the the yeah, farm is at Court Street. Okay. Yeah, um, which is behind Kruger Stock Mansion. Okay. And then we have another farm at Hawthorne Avenue. Oh, okay. So how did this program start? It started actually uh, 15 years ago. The Newark Youth Leadership Project started 15 years ago with our current executive director, uh, Robin Dougherty. 
and uh, the farm stand just started a couple of years ago uh, through some different programs and grants that we got to do it, and we're just continuing it now. We have also a membership program, which uh, people get a bag of produce every other week uh, through November. So they get produce from our farm and other local farms um, for only about $12, $13 a bag, and they pay for a whole season share. And um, they get fresh produce every week. Okay, so what kind of things do you grow? So we grow, right now we're growing a lot of greens. Collard greens, kale, and then now we're getting into tomato season. So we're growing tomatoes and peppers. Um, and we also have grown a lot of lettuces and uh, chard and other things like that. And we're also getting peaches now and corn, which are our biggest sellers for the local Jersey farms. Okay, so how can people find out? What, do you have a phone number? Um, we do. Our phone number is 973-642-4646. And um, you can reach me at extension 11. Okay, great. It's nice. I didn't know about the youth farm stand. Even though I've seen those, I didn't know that they, uh, those gardens, I didn't know that they were uh, part of your organization. Yeah, I mean, all this great produce that we're growing is from those farms. Um, the other thing that we're doing is the summer program. It involves a lot of other things besides growing on the farms. Um, this is our farm to table program, mm -hmm. and uh, the high school students engage in uh, some trips and other beneficial activities and experiences, and we're doing a fundraiser for this. So um, you can go onto our website, www.citybloom.org, and find out. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Kim. So nice to meet you. So glad you stopped by. I signed these gloves. Turn that on. I signed these gloves. Personally. And they're worth $7 million a piece. <laughs> Send the money. Larry on dinner, right? Hey, better watch Kim Corner. Don't you touch that down. <laughs>
and he promised to give transformation of heart and transformation of life. So I'm sure your event will be successful, Pastor. Yes. Thank you so much for oh, taking you. your time thank you. tonight. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. This is Pastor Laverne Marable from Hope Ministries. How are you? I'm blessed. And yourself? Okay. What are you doing tonight at this event? Um, we're coming out here just to lift up the name of Jesus and let the community know that Jesus is Lord. And you were a little hesitant. You didn't want to come over here uh, to the mic. Where's your church? Where's your ministry? Uh, we're church? located at 83 James Street. Okay. Right here in the city of Newark. Okay. And you are? Dion. Hi, Dion. How are you? I'm blessed. How are you? And what do you hope to get from this event tonight? Learn more about the Lord. Is this your first time you ever participated in Newark's Night Out, National Night Out? No. It's my first time. This is your first time? Yes. This is your first time? Mm -hmm. Is this your first time? Right? No, this is my third year down here at this venue. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Well, I hope this is a su successful event tonight, and hopefully next year more and more people will come out. Amen. Right. Thank you so much. Thank you. God bless. Hi, I'm Downtown Atlanta, and Lincoln Park at the Lincoln Park Music Festival. There's a lot of things going on in Newark, and I told you there's a lot of things happening with um, Central Ward Initiative, Summer Fitness Init Initiative. So now we're at Lincoln Park. They have this concert every year. It takes place from Friday to Sunday every year here at Lincoln Park. So the night the house heads are going to be here. All the club heads are going to be down here tonight. So, you know, if you're not doing anything, well, about time you see my show, it'll be over. But So you missed it. So remember, keep it in mind next year and come on down to Lincoln Park. Yeah, yeah. Hi, we'd like to welcome Kim Brown from Kim's Corner to Masjid Asaba Yamin. My name is Marad Abdus Salam. I'm a head of community affairs. And this is Fun Day today we're having here for the children from all set of the day of the Eid when it was a rainy day and the children were not able to have their fun, and we're having it happen right now for them with all the rides, the toys, the games, the food, and plenty of smiles and cheers. So what do you do here at the Masjid? Well, um, I'm the community affairs, head of the community affairs and programs that goes on here as far as dealing with um, children's programs, um, fundraisers, um, lectures, and stuff like that. Uh, I coordinate um, with the other staff we have here at the Shore Board, and any lectures and things like that are handled by Imam Abdul Aziz, but the program actually goes through us and he handles the religious material. Okay, so this is a great day that we have out here today, and you have this event every year, correct? Yes, every year. Today we're calling it Fun Day because it's after the day of the E, but normally we call it It Kids, and the people in the community donate um, the money for the children to have all the wonderful things that you see they're having. It's a great thing. It's a great thing for the neighborhood, and everybody should come out to these activities, right? Everyone is invited, whether you're Muslim or non-Muslim, to come and share our day with us and enjoy our festivity and be part of us, but we want you to come and be part of us. Okay, great. It's great. It's a lot of things going on around town, so you never know when Kim's Corner will be in your neighborhood next. We're happy to have her. <laughs> have a good one. Thank you. You too. Just a stone throw away from the masjid. You have a lot of stores on 4th Avenue. You have B&H Wireless, H&H, uh, who were one of the sponsors of Kim's Corner. They're running an ad on my show now. You have a halal meat market, and you have Basmati Restaurant. You got a beauty supply store, an original bean pot store. And uh, another place, Snazzy Fashion. She makes one-of-a-kind pieces. And I had uh, spoke to her earlier, and maybe I can get a chance to talk to her. She's not around right now. But uh, Basmati is one of the best African restaurants around town. This sister can cook. She makes tilapia that is just like out of sight, out of sight. And I eat here all the time. So you might find Kim here on 4th Avenue in Basmati Restaurant. I'm going to see if I can talk to her in a little while. But you can just come here. It's neighborhood, small business, you know, small businesses. And just come around and see what you can find. It's clothing, meat market, and just anything, anything that you might need. So you never know what's in the neighborhood. So stop by. Oh, yeah.
All right, now I'm inside Basmati Restaurant, and this is Sister Khadija. Sister Khadija, how are you? I'm fine, good. Okay, and tell us what you do here. I know you're one of the owners. Yeah, I'm cooking and serving the people. Nice community. How long have you been? How long has this business been? And and how long you've been in business? Six years. For six years. Mm -hmm. Six. So, what kind of menu do you have? Tell us a little bit about your menu. Uh, we have African American food, like grilled fish. And Chicken, grilled lamb, and chicken kebab, chicken wings, and we have carbid, garlic, kenya, macaroni, cheese, whatever. So we have a bunch of stuff. African, African. Yeah, and it. Chewy something like that. And it's absolutely de delicious. Absolutely delicious. She makes some of the best uh, tilapia in town. And I just want to thank you. Thank you for taking out your time to talk to Kim from Kim's Corner today. Thank you to talk to you too. Have a good day. I'll you see too. you soon. Thank you very much. <laughs> Kim Brown around town.
I'm yours. <laughs> <laughs> <Bad sis. laughs>